Hey everyone, I had posted this artwork a while back on Instagram and had gotten a couple requests for a tutorial on drawing butterflies, so I wanted to come on here and talk a little bit about both the drawing um, different orientations like I have here and a little bit about how I did the shading. So I'm going to set this aside and then pull out a couple examples. So this is just some examples that I printed off um, just with my at-home black and white printer. I do actually like having my references printed in black and white if I'm going to be doing pen and ink drawing because it, it helps me see the shade a little bit better. Like this butterfly here is actually a blue color and then you could really see kind of different wrinkles and the wings and different um, shadows that you get on there too. So I do find that helpful. So I do suggest that. I also actually have these pulled up in color on my computer screen too that I could look at right now too. So you could zoom in and look at a little bit more of the details. So I do find that helpful. Um, so first thing, I just want to talk a little bit about orientation. I feel like this is like the typical butterfly orientation, right? Like you're looking at the back of it. You can kind of see the body, um, the wings attached to the back, and then the wings are just um, flat out. But I do find that these different orientations really bring a lot of interest to a drawing too. I mean, something that show some action like this one flying i mean all of these are probably flying but but this one with the wings down especially i think is a, a orientation that you don't see very often so i did want to point out a couple of those and encourage you to try different orientations too sometimes these can be a little tricky to draw because you're seeing um say the wing at an angle so really study your reference when you're looking at these um, Let's just start first with something that's a little bit, maybe not super flat like this. Let's let's maybe start with something like this one. So I'm going to kind of put my reference on the side here, get a nice clean sheet of paper, and let's try to draw this one. So what I like to do is um, just kind of draw with pencil first, give yourself a little bit of a reference to go by. So um, I'm going to draw this probably a little darker than I usually would, just so you can see it on camera here. But but just a line even for where that body is. Kind of really look at where that connects. So you kind of have a, a head of your butterfly up here. It connects kind of the upper back. Really look at what angle that's coming off. And start to sketch in those wings. So I mean the shapes aren't super complicated. I think what's important here too, look at the second wing, like you might be tempted to make it attach um, farther down on the body, but but it actually attaches. Draw this just a little bit darker. It actually all attaches right here in that upper back. So so make sure you pay attention to those little details. And when I draw this in a, in pen, you'll be able to see it a little bit better. But I do encourage all of my drawing students to use pencil as long as you, you feel you need to, like as, as long as you need, or as much as you need to feel comfortable. So um, this one comes down here. And I'm kind of looking here too, like how does it relate to, to that other wing of the butterfly? How deep is it here? And I think I might actually make this body a little bit longer. So a couple things, I'm, I'm going to just sketch in a couple things that I feel I need to, um, to feel comfortable moving on to pen. And that is looking at the pattern of the butterfly. So you see here, you can kind of see, I don't, I call them veins. They're not really veins, I don't think, but you can kind of see this patterning within the butterfly. So I like to try to draw that in and then these areas of different color. So we kind of have this the main wing is black, but we kind of have that white area there. This in the actual colored version is kind of like this light green color. So I'm just going to sketch in where those areas are. 
and I'll have that then for reference here. And then, okay, and then draw in kind of where these veins are. So you have this main one kind of at an angle here and then ones that come off almost perpendicular. Drawing a couple of those. This, this cuts just a little bit right there. There we go. And then these um, wings down here are pretty much black. So I'm not really gonna draw any of those veins in there. Just kind of giving that little indication of a of that little white spot and then maybe I do want to uh, kind of sketch in the the texture you have kind of like almost this ribbed exterior here or edge of that wing and my butterfly is gonna have a couple antennae Okay, so for me, I feel like that's probably good to feel comfortable going into pen. So a couple tips with the pens. Butterflies are pretty small, so I usually stick to my small 005. A 001, or a 01, excuse me, um, would be a good one to use too, maybe just for the outline, but I think I'm just going to stick to these. So I have a couple of these that are newer, and I also have a couple that I've used quite a bit, and... They, they're like almost kind of dying. So I find that actually pretty good to make kind of like a feathery sort of texture. So I do have a couple of those on hand and we'll, we'll get into those. So what I'm going to do first is just kind of trace my outline here. Um, I could get rid of my, my pencil after I'm done doing this too. So that could be less distracting, but let's just get the basic outline. I'm looking here too, there's a little bit of texture at the edge of the wing. So I'm just going to kind of indicate that with the way that I'm making my marks here. And then this edge. Okay, do the same over on the other side. There. I can just move this up down just a little bit. Give that edge of wing a little bit of texture. And this is almost like that rippled edge of the wing here. Okay. Indicate the body here. I'm going to make it just a little bit thinner than I did with my pencil. So I'm I'm taking this opportunity to go in with pen. I'm following those pencil marks, but I am uh, refining a bit as I go too. And I can see just a little leg sticking out here, so I'm going to draw that for now too. Okay, so I'm going to use the areas that um, I kind of indicated these different colors, the, the white areas and that green. I'm going to use my pencil marks um, as a guide, but I'm not going to trace over them right now because that edge is, it's kind of fuzzy. Like it's not just a, a solid mark, but what are solid marks are these, um, what I keep calling veins in the, in the butterfly. So I am going to draw some indications of those here first. Okay, and we have a couple, couple of those kind of veins going up there. And do the same thing on this side. And breaking it a little bit because the line does, it looks pretty thin there. So you can make it a solid line if you want. This is all your interpretation of what this butterfly is. So 
Okay. So I think what I will do is start with areas that are a pretty deep black. So these two lower wings there and the body are pretty dark black, but you can see light is hitting this portion of the wing right there. It's hitting that portion of the wing right there. I'm going to make a little bit of an interpretation here and make an assumption that the light is hitting this left side of the body. So I'm going to make that a little bit lighter and that a little bit darker. And your body too is like a cylinder. So if you imagine that your, your butterfly body is actually like a cylinder. So if my light is coming from that left hand side, I could shade this in a couple different ways. Either I do the contour of the, of the cylinder by following it this way and I'm doing my lines really close together and then as it gets closer to the light I space them out even more and more or you could do the cross contour so so showing kind of like the shape of the the cylinder in this rounded form so you can see both of them are giving the indication that there's shadow on this right hand side and that light is hitting on the left hand side. So you could choose either way to, to shade your butterfly, but you want to give a little bit of an indication of the shape here. So, so the head first, let's, I'm going to kind of give it these kind of lines here. Make it real dark on that right hand side. And I'm kind of making a little bit of a neck here too. And you can always go back and add more shading lines, but you can't take them away. So maybe start a little light. We can go back and add more later. So I'm kind of really spacing them out right now, just because I know I can go back and fill back in. I'm going to assume that not much light hits right here, just because of how the wings attach and there's the light's just going to be blocked. So I am giving that a little bit more shade. And then adding a little bit more here on this right hand side to make that really dark. So you can see, you can always go back and add more. Okay, so that gives a bit of an indication to the body. And then I want to, I mean, I almost think of, think of this um, wing as like a petal. So it originates here at the back and then, and then comes out. So I'm going to like make my lines follow that. So I'm just going to draw a couple lines kind of to use as guides. I'm going to remember this is a spot that's a little bit lighter, so I'm going to not draw as many lines in there. So these are kind of my guides that I'm going to follow. And then use those pencil marks as guide or yeah, as guides to know where you want less shade, but then go ahead and start filling in that really dark black. So this may silly, seem silly to do with my 005 pen, but I think using these smaller lines and really like layering them on is going to make them look more delicate, which this is a delicate wing, right? So you can see here, I'm, I'm kind of filling in, but I'm not super dark here yet. I can keep going back and adding layers over top. This is a spot where there's that little white dot, so I'm going to leave that on there too. I'm paying attention to all those details. And making sure I catch those, because I think that's really what's going to give this a lot of character. 
Okay, so now I'm going back over. You can see all my lines kind of converged at this point, so that's why it looks really dark there, but that's about how dark I'm going to want all of this to be. So I'm just going to leave, even though this is going to get some shade in here since it's not white, but I'm going to do all my black here first, and then I'm going to come back and add just a few lines to that. So I encourage you to test out too, do you feel more comfortable pulling towards you like this? Do you feel that this way feels to me to like give me the most control over my pen? But for some people, maybe pushing away might be a little bit easier. So really test it out. There's no right or wrong way here as far as that goes. So test out what feels comfortable to you, what feels good. And then use that method to get here. See, I'm getting pretty dark. <laughs> My shade there. Add a little bit more on this other side. I do keep my lines going all the same direction. I'm not adding cross hatching here. I feel like cross hatching gives kind of like a rough texture. So okay. So now I think I have this area pretty well shaded in. So I'm going to give just a little bit of shade now to this area that's actually in the colored picture, it's a, kind of a red. As I'm doing this, I'm adding, you know, just making this really dark next to it to give it a little bit more definition. Okay, there's my first wing. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. I'm going to turn my paper a little bit just because it's easier for me now. Now these lines are more in line with my hand, that natural curve of your hand. So I'm going to go ahead and do this other wing. Okay, so I have the bottom two portions of the wings complete. So those were the really dark ones. So let's talk about these top wings. So we're getting um, a little bit of light on this portion up here. So especially for something that's completely black, I'm probably going to exaggerate that a little bit more than it looks like in this image. So what I want to do, I still want to make my lines follow, kind of I drew these veins kind of as a guide. So my line work is going to follow that, but I'm going to make it dark right at the edge here and then leave, leave some area here that's a little bit lighter. 
So I'm actually going to just turn everything a little bit. So again, my paper is oriented to kind of take advantage of this natural curve of my hand. But I am going to make those kind of veins a little bit darker. So you can see here too, the, the wing is pretty dark in here, kind of as it gets closer to that colored area. So I'm going to keep that in mind too as I'm working my way around here. Again, I can always add more, but can't take away. So start with kind of like a light shade, and then we can go back and add some layers on top of it. So here I'm trying to get kind of dark at the edge and I'm pulling it towards me, pull my pen towards me. Because I think right here I'm going to kind of push away so then I leave that area in the middle a little bit lighter. You can already see kind of how this is working with that dark on the edge. So I'm focusing now too just on the areas that are black. I'm going to go back here later and do those areas that are lighter and in color. So this one's pretty white. This one's like Kind of a light green, so still not very dark. And I can see my wing is very dark where it uh, attaches to the back here. So add some of those shading lines. So I find too when I push away from me that I can get the edge of that line a little wispy. And I like that for things like feathers. Um, this wing, since I, I like it to look kind of delicate. So I feel like pushing away from me can kind of get that delicate line. And then I just build up where I'm putting my pen down to get that dark edge. I'm just kind of refining my edge a little bit there. And see that it's it's pretty dark right by that white spot. So. I'm starting to like work my way to get to that really dark black in areas that I think it needs it. So I think it needs it right in here, kind of on top of that light green. Add some more layers there. You saw I turned my paper. I'm still being conscious of kind of leaving a little bit of space there where that light's hitting it, not getting that quite as dark. See, so yeah, I think this is actually, this is kind of what I'm saying when you need to choose like are you going to draw it exactly as it is so that everything would just be really darker? I want to exaggerate those areas a little bit where the light is hitting. So you can see this is lighter than this is depicting here, but I kind of like it and I think it looks good. It gives it a good dimension. So I might make it just a touch darker, but I'm going to leave it a little lighter than it actually is. So. Drawing is your interpretation of the reference. You don't need to draw it exactly as is. So if there's something that you think will make the drawing more interesting, more realistic, more fun, whatever you're trying to go for, you, you definitely have that liberty. It's your, your drawing. Okay, so that looks pretty good to me. If I look at these green areas, you can see the the edge 
is like a little fuzzy. So what I'm gonna do is come in here and really think about making those wispy lines. So I'm thinking about picking up my pen kind of as I'm making these strokes. I could completely turn my paper too if I feel better pushing away from me. And then I am going to give a few strokes that kind of like go through it and give it a little bit of shade because this isn't white. This is white here. This is not in this area. So just give it a little bit so that gives it a little bit of texture too. Try to soften that edge a little bit. So I think too, some of the things that I'm explaining here, I mean, it's it's relating to drawing, but I think if you were to be painting these butterflies as well, like thinking about where's the light, um, how dark do you make it? Do you soften the edge? Like some of those cues could probably be used too to paint this butterfly rather than draw it. And then this portion here is still that kind of like light green color. So you can see I have a real defined edge right now. So I'm going to try to soften that a little bit with the way that I'm making my strokes. And then now that I'm seeing this too, I think this kind of vein right here, I do have pretty good definition, but I think I want to make these a little bit more defined. So again, I can always come back in and make those adjustments to make it darker, but I wouldn't be able to do that to make it lighter. And I'm just checking the shape of this white space that I left. So I'm going to just make it just a little bit smaller. I think this vein kind of goes through it. And that looks a little bit more accurate to me. Trying to go through and do the same thing for this last portion of the wing. pretty happy with how that turned out. I might just go back and I can now make a few refinements to how I shaded the body, whether I think it, it needs to add a little bit more in a couple areas, but otherwise I think that looks pretty good. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you found this helpful, please like the video, subscribe. Um, if there's other tutorials that you would be interested in seeing me do, please um, leave those in the comments. I'll take a look and I can do as many as I can get to, but there's your basic butterfly. Um, hopefully you can try your own and, and uh, find different strategies that work for you. And I hope this was helpful.